good way to start. And if a couple of you guys were here two years ago, you, you've seen this. He started with the front leg up. Now everybody's taught if you start on either side, you have the front leg down, back leg up. All right, that's conventional. He started right here. And the reason this is, I think, so 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 good. As a defensive, as a as an offensive wrestler here, what's he thinking right here? He's thinking the legs coming in as soon as he sees us. It puts him automatically in a defensive mode. He's saying to himself, at least I did when I when guys did it to me, this guy's throwing a leg on me. No one wants a leg to be thrown on, especially by a good leg man. And it's automatically putting you in a mode where you're going to be, you know, you're not thinking of uh, exploding into a move. You're actually defensive. So he starts here. I'll show you what it looks like, the, the, the whole start. You have to have one knee down. Now the referee, Murph will uh, help me with this one. One knee has to be down on the side you're lined up at. So you're allowed to have this leg up. This, this is illegal because one knee is not down on the side. This is illegal. You can't touch, although you can get away with pretty much uh, as close as possible to touching. Everything else is normal by, by the start. And this is what my nephew did, and this is what a lot of Memorial guys did. Now, from here, you're, you're not riding waist or anything. What you're going to do from here, you're going to go, you're going to over circle the arm, right find the arm, not underneath, over. You're going to pinch his hips off your knees, hip superiority we call it, and grab his ankle. This knee goes right into his thigh right here, and this is the very simple Memorial Mizavachi ride. Head hanging over, no knees down, not riding waist so the guy can get hand control or, or grab something. It's a very, very tough ride because whatever he does, it, it, it predicates what you can do. If he steps up outside here, I'm just going to show you the, the, how lethal this is. There's your cradle. If he steps up inside, and you have it blocked off, there's your boot. If he steps up outside, there's your cradle on the other side of your overhead cradle. If he doesn't do anything, clamps down, there's your post cradle. Once I go for it. The thing I really like about it is I can wrestle for days with this and never get tired. You know, you're kind of hanging out. It's kind of a reactionary type of thing. And it really, really did well for me. Now, if you want to ride conventionally, you can do the same thing from back here and then jump to it if you want to do that. Or you don't even have to do that. But the thing that's great about this is it, it overextends you so you can look for these cradles. All right? Show it one more time, and then I'll let you guys work on it before just, just lining up in this position, and then we'll, we'll go over some cradles, some ways to take the guy back, and we'll go into legs a little bit. Hey, guys, Tony's foot is in front of his knee. It's not allowed to be, but because Tony's so tall, he can't get it behind him. That foot has really to, supposed be. to be behind. Right. But nobody ever, I mean, that's one thing I never got right. called on. I never got called yeah. on. Never. I mean, what we used to do to referees, if you do like this type of start, you want to tell the referee before that this is, this is what you do when they, when they come in to talk to you because then the referee will tell you, Murph is a good, good ref and he knows the rules and will say, listen, your knee has to be back. So then you'll know not so you don't get a caution. I'm telling you, it, it, most of our good wrestlers at Memorial on top use this, this, this simple ride. And again, it was real good for me when I wrestled because in the 70s, Randy Rolls were real big switches. Uh, you know, stand up with hand control it was a big hand control error. So, if you rode the waist, you were getting caught in rolls all the time and everything. And this was a way, by not riding the waist, that you could take away all those holds. And then I learned to, to throw legs in off of it and, and all that. And the, and the, but the cradles are really the, 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 the jewel from this, this ride. And this is when Nizavachi was really good. He was a great cradler. And he was also a great leg. Man. So, again, foot has to be back. Okay, right here. Everything else is normal. When the, when the whistle blows, you don't want to be here. You don't want to come underneath because then you're going to give the guy hand control. You want to overlap it. In fact, if you can straighten your hand up and bring his, see what I did with his hand? Got it off the mat there. I took a point off. That's what I did by just rotating my arm. Pop to here. Right of an ankle. Sometimes we also refer to this as the rollaway ride for obvious reasons, but uh, we won't go there. All right? You know what I mean, right, Mr. Booney? We, we called it that more <laughs> once in a while, but at any rate, this is where you are. It's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs>
They don't get it. It's, these are smart guys. Memorial, our guys were so dumb, they thought high crotch was something on a giraffe. <laughs> they weren't the smartest guys, so good wrestlers. All right, so what I'm going to make you do is break up with partners. Just try this. Humor me. You might not like it at first. This, and then, this is one thing I've got to bring out. If you do see something, you gotta, you can't just wait until, you know, December, uh, you know, the first Christmas morning and say, I'm going to try that, uh, that hold. This is something you want to try when you work out, when you practice. You might customize it and do some changes. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tall door, you know, like I, I'm a tall guy, so I'm not, uh, I might do it a little bit different than a guy that's short. But we had a kid, Dean Alvin, who, who rode this ride, and he was, you know, four feet nine or whatever. But he was tough with it. So you, you line up here, overlap, over loop, grab an ankle, pick up on an ankle and pick here, and you're squeezing toward the hips. It puts a lot of pressure on, on Co Cody, right? Puts a, Cody has a lot of pressure on him. He really only has one point holding him and his knees, and I'm pushing forward here. It, it, you know, it, it does, it's a weird feeling for the guy at bottom. There's not much he can do as far as, and there are some counters, and I will show you that, but you guys kind of get the idea? You want to, uh, so anybody, let me get you guys out here in the middle of the show first. 